Okay, I thought today I compare an old La Misa Fadi in blue with a new one. What's the age difference? Uh, this one is from the early 90s, I used it in school. Um, I think the first four years of my school career I used um, Pelicans, Pelicano, and then the rest I used um, La Misa Fadis. So I had a few of them uh, over the years. This one from the early 90s, and here's one I bought recently. Not that I needed another one, but I bought it because it was on offer at a British store called uh, WH Smith. So it was 10.99. So I thought for 10.99, I can't say no. Okay, let's take it out of the packaging. Yeah. And I think my first Lamy Safari, uh, my first one would have been in the late 80s. I think it came in that cardboard box, actually the original Lamy Safari came in, but of course I don't have that cardboard box anymore and I certainly don't remember uh, what color it was. Okay, the shades of blue, don't know how easy it is to see on the camera, they're pretty similar. This one looks a bit shinier, but of course this one got scratches over time. Let's look at the top. Um, so the, the easy way to spot it here now is the one with the silver clip. It's the new one. The one with the black clip is the old one. Uh, the top. Can I focus on that? Mm, let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, pretty similar. <clears throat> yeah. Well, one thing, I guess, when you're bored in school, you'll figure out is uh, there are two ways of screwing the body onto the front. One is um, with the Lamy logo at the at the top. That's how I uh, you usually like it. And the other way is... with the Lamy logo at the bottom. But I usually always make sure the Lamy logo is at the front. Okay. Another difference here. Um, this one, the new one, has a silver, a silver nib, and it's labeled. And here, the old one is not labeled. So in the past, I don't know whether there was only an M nib. Maybe there was no choice. I'm not sure. Uh, but in the past, they didn't label the nib. Okay, let's have a look how they light. I'm gonna dip it, so that's not gonna be super representative. Oh, and here's the nice uh, petrol ink. So let's gonna let's dip this. Oh, that was the postman. Let me just check what letters I got. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, <clears throat> let's dip the pen. And the new one is M. The old one is unlabeled. Let's have a look at the difference we get. Like I say, uh, dipped is not that representative, but you know, otherwise you'd have to wait. Oh, I'd have to cut it out, whichever way around, so... Okay, this is the new one. Let's 
compared with the old one. The old one seems to light finer. Yeah, okay. Old one seems to light finer. Oh, something else I want to show you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. So, something I want to show you. Let's close this before an accident happens. Okay, is it in focus? And I'm only mentioning this because actually uh, no one watches my complicated videos, but my simple videos seem to be popular so a very simple thing to show here and uh, yeah why does the cartridge get slimmer here yeah, you're in school uh, you keep writing and the ink will run out at some stage but some ink will be trapped here at the end I don't know is it easy to see Let's do it against the light. Just a moment. Just a moment. Yeah, maybe you can see it. So the ink is tapped there. Yeah, now you know, me shaking the pen around that caused a bit of a mess. But yeah, the ink will get tapped here. Then you just tap it. The ink will flow out. And yeah, you got some more ink to write with in school. But you got some sort of warning that your ink will run out soon. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye!